Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a series of short videos designed to help you make the most out of my website, diagnosticquestions.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how an academic researcher or just a geeky teacher like myself might use the website to try and spot, identify, and explain interesting trends in students' learning. So to do this, you don't even need to be logged on or registered or anything like that. You can just go to the data subjects page and all will be revealed there. Now this gives you a, an instant overview of the percentage of questions answered in all the different uh, subject areas across the website. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the classic thing and see if I can spot any gender dif uh, differences. So I'm gonna go to advanced filtering and I'm going go to gender and I would like to call up the females and I would also like to call up the males. If I just scroll down, there you go, I get a bit of a picture. Now, I only feel fairly comfortable talking about maths, and I'm not even that comfortable talking about that, so let's go into maths and see if we can spot anything. Pretty even stuff um, around there, but let's delve a bit deeper. Let's go into number, and we can see, again, not much, but, oh, hello, here's something. If I go over here, money. <laughs> we can see females, 93% uh, success rate when it comes to answering questions on money. Males, 46%. And my wife can certainly testify that that is something that is a representative of uh, certainly her husband anyway. Uh, but we can do lots of other stuff as well. If I just clear all of that, um, another thing we can start to do here, if I just reset that to all as well, is instead of using all users, let, let's look at specific countries. So if I go here, now we've... Uh, there's not a great deal of data on uh, on other countries just yet on the website until it starts to spread around the world uh, but there's certainly plenty in the united kingdom now i am from the wonderful county of lancashire so let's call up uh, lancashire and let's get them all on there so i can see all the uh, students from lancashire's results there uh, for math for um a number and if i just go back to the parent subject let's just go to uh, mathematics and then let's compare that to one of our arch rivals from Yorkshire. Let's go for Leeds. Let's apply the filter. And I think that that is pretty much definitive evidence that Lancashire is better than Yorkshire. I think that's almost case closed on that one. If we beat them on four out of the five main topic areas, absolutely destroy them on Advanced Pure as well. So I think that's case closed in the War of the Roses there. Now, as, the, as more and more students use the website, as it starts to spread around the world, the data we're going to get is going to be fascinating. You're going to be able to do things like compare 15-year-old uh, lads in the UK with 15-year-old lads in the US, with China. Is Shanghai Maths the way to go? Are the art students understanding questions better in Finland, in Sweden? How are they explaining things? You're going to be able to compare your class uh, is performance to similar cohorts across the UK and across the world. But we need more and more students on the website for, for that to happen. So just keep trying out this. Keep playing around. And if you spot any interesting trends or something, just drop me in email and um, if you're interested in setting up your students um, analyzing quizzes anything like that if you just go to the about section and click on the how-to videos you'll find loads of information to help you do that take care and bye for now